Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw BB-8. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. So for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. So I think I'm just going to do this by hand. I'm not going to get a straight edge or a, a protractor or an ellipse maker or a circle maker. I'm just going to do this by hand. And you're welcome to get something to make a stencil. Or you're welcome to get a stencil to make a complete perfect circle. I'm just going to do this by hand just to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect. You know? I'm glad that you want to make it perfect, and you should get a, a protractor or stencil or ellipse maker, but I'm going to do it by hand just to be there right with you in case you don't have one, you know? Now, let's see. Did I make this? That, that's going to be the real trick here is getting the proportions right, you know? That looks about right. Okay. Right? The trick, too, is that I can't turn my paper to see if I have this right. I've got it taped down to the table, and so it's not going anywhere. Okay, and also I'm getting ready for the other circles, too. So this, again, is where you might want an ellipse. An ellipse is a non-perfect circle. So it's, you know, squished more in the middle, wider on the ends, vice versa, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, that's, that's what an ellipse is. And so you can get ellipse stencils. And it'll help you to draw proportional circles, you know? I think, let me see if I got one here. Let's see what I got. Bear with me one second. There you go. That's an ellipse. See, it even says right there, ellipse template, time saver. And so, you know, when you want to do circles that, you know, do stuff like that, that's, that's what those are for. But I'm going to do this by hand, so I'm not worried about it. Okay. Let's see. And should we, yeah, let's, you know what, let's, let's see if we can, we can, uh, oh, you know what it's, okay, so hang on. Let me draw a few little details here. And see if I can, there, I'll put it up here. Okay, so he's got this that goes down and over. And so that's going to like fly open a little. Like that. So it can, and this is not 100% right. It's uh, my interpretation, you know? We'll do the, the little, you know, the thumbs up flame. We'll, we'll put that in there, you know, little fun, fun little BB-8. Okay, so I think this is about right. And then we'll add the detail in a minute. But I think, I think this should get us there. Okay. Okay, a little high. I should have drawn it a little bit lower, but that's okay. Well, I'm going to go with what we got. So let's. I'm going to erase just a little bit, but not too much because I need all these pencil lines to guide me, right? Um, but I also don't want them standing out in the sketch. So I'm going to erase some of it. But we'll leave a ghost of an image. And if you're doing this, do the same thing. Just leave a little bit of a, a ghost so you'll know where to draw what you need to draw, you know? But you don't want it standing out with your Sharpie. You can always go back afterwards and erase. That's certainly a viable option. 
but I'm just doing this for now. Okay, so I'm ready to go. So let's welcome everybody that skipped over to the Sharpie portion. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'm gonna be using the Sharpie fine point and the Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but also the pen, because it's finer than the fine point and I can control the line widths much easier than with this one. So, I've already sketched the entire thing out and I've erased a lot of it, so I have just a ghost of a drawing that's gonna help guide me there. I'm not gonna use a stencil to get this circle. I'm just gonna do it by hand and it's not gonna be perfect, but I just wanna show you that it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just gonna be whatever we make it, okay? So, in his little uh, stance that I have here, I have his little hand sticking out in the, you know, the, the flame thumbs up little style that he has. So I have to draw that first so I don't draw a line through it whenever I draw his soikle, okay? So, I should probably draw his head first, actually. No, I'm gonna go ahead and do it here since I'm already here. So it's gonna come out of this little spot right here. So I'm just gonna draw the, the arm coming out just straight like this. Draw the other side of it like that. And look, even that's not perfect. Fatter, thinner, no big deal. I'm not worried about that. And so I'm gonna draw the little stick part like this. And something like this. It's It's got some look to it, I, I don't know. I'm gonna draw that, and it's got a little wire coming off of it, so let's do that with the, the small Sharpie, just to give us a nice little contrast of thick versus thin. And same thing, let's do that with the flame too, because we want, we wanna do that with color, but we gotta put something there, you know? I just don't want it as thick as this. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna do, let's see, let's do his head because that's gonna be a little bit over the circle of his body, and then I'll do the body, okay? So again, I'm not worried about whether this comes out straight or not. I'm just gonna enjoy myself and just draw straight across and then draw his dome, okay? So I'm gonna go straight across for the bottom of it. Kinda of comes in just a, just a hair, and then it's gonna dome, or it's gonna angle up to the edge, something like this and then it's going to kind of go over. So let's just go ahead and do it. And like I said, not worried about how it comes out. I'm gonna try my best, but I'm not worried about if it comes out straight, perfect, or exact, okay? So see, a little, a little more domer, a little more pointy than dome, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. So now I'm gonna draw the lines going across. I'm gonna try to connect them over here. And I'm gonna draw his eyeball. Same thing, just gonna draw a circle. As, as close as I can is perfect, but going in knowing it's not gonna be perfect, see, that's off, that's okay, I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna add a few more lines with this Sharpie. And so I'm gonna come in here and add another circle like this. Again, it's off, oh well. I'm gonna add just a few of his little um, designs to it, the, the look. And so now I'm gonna to start to play around with um, line work, okay? And go across like this, across like this, and then play around with the, uh, the look of it. The little tech look to the way he was built. And again, this is not perfect, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just, I'm just drawing with passion, you know? Drawing with uh, the excitement of, of getting to make robots. Robots. All right. And I'm, I'm, going, I'm looking at a picture, but again, it's not that big a deal if it's off, you know? This is just, <laughs> this is exactly what I want it to be. This is how I draw. And remember, you draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. All right. And I see, I see a lot of of mistakes, things I should have done. But I'm not worried about it. The line across like this. And then I'm gonna add some 
lines going down. And it's got some that are at the top, some at the bottom, some that go all the way across. But I'm just adding what I want just to, you know, give it a little bit of, of, of roboticude, you know? And let's see, I'll do, I'll do one more down across like that, kind of thin. There we go. Okay, perfect. Giving it my robots. All right. Let's see, that's going to go across like this, like that. Okay, I'm going to draw his antennae. That's powerful antenna, right? Okay, I think I'm done with the head. So let's, I, I want that inner line a little bit thicker and I would rather do that with color, but since we're drawing with Sharpies, let's go ahead and do it. I want it, I'm gonna do it. Ooh yeah, all right. Color will take care of a lot more of that, so I'm not too worried about it. So now I'm gonna do this ball and remember, I don't care if it doesn't come out perfect, so you don't either. Let's just draw, okay? I'm gonna try, like I said, always try to do it, but. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead and do it from this side. I'm more of a puller than a pusher. I like to pull my Sharpies. Let's try to connect. Boom, all right, so see? Could have been much better. Could have been more perfect, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just drawing to have fun. Okay, so I'm gonna work with his circles. And his, his hatch is open here. So I'm gonna draw this circle like this. And I'm gonna say it open from right here. And we'll go draw it like that, something like this. Okay, so what I'm saying is that's this little spot that is opened up. I'll continue this from the inside like that. So see how it's supposed to be like poking through? That's because this side is a flap that flaps over and goes over that way. But now you can see into his body, his robotoid body. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the circles like I was doing and then build off of that. And notice I'm using the smaller Sharpie now because I like this, this thick, thin contrast. It's just gonna, you know, stand out a little bit more and help us when we color that it's not gonna stand out too much, you know? So again, I'm just gonna draw some of these lines that I see in here, and I'm not too worried about whether it's perfect or not, because like I've been saying this whole time, it's not that big a deal. And so again, I'm just drawing roughly what I see. Okay. And I have two kinds of Sharpie pens. See how one's a little thicker than the other? That's why I'm playing with, it's kind of, it goes like this. That's the level it goes at. So I'm kind of playing with a little bit of, of uh, size difference here. Um, let's see, let's do this one over here. Same thing, I'm just gonna draw the circles where I sketched. Something like that. And you know what, I can pretty much just draw a bunch of circles and build off of this. Like that. This middle one though, it's got a certain look to it. So where the circle is, it's, it's segmented. You know what that means? Exactly. It's in segments. So it should be a circle like that, but it's got those spaces. So I just wanted to do that to, to uh, make it look a little bit like the drawing. Again, just having fun. And this is kind of the hard part though about drawing like robots and things like this. It's fun, but unless you're 
using the computer or using, like I was saying before, the, the sharp, the ellipse or the protractor, that stuff to make it perfect. It, oops, <laughs> I almost used the big one. It's never gonna be perfect. So you, you kind of have to either, either go for perfection or accept that it's not. And so I'm going with accepting. I I'm okay with this. Because really what I was just trying to do is just have a little fun. Not get it perfect. I'm not going to enter this into a contest or uh, enter it into the um, world's straightest droid uh, line contest. That's not really a thing. I'm just making that up. Um, this, is just, this is just for me, you know? And you, you know, you're drawing yours for yourself. You know, I'm going to put this on my wall. <laughs> this is how I draw. I keep saying that. But it's true. This is, you know, like yours is for you. I mean, unless you're going to give it to someone. This is how we draw. We are the makers. We are the designers. We are the creators. And we get to do whatever we want. Okay, all right. So again, there's a little bit more underneath them up there. Like there's another circle back there, but I'm not gonna worry about that. That's good enough, okay? Um, let's do another one down here. And same thing, I'm just gonna follow my circles and build off of that. How's yours coming out? Awesome. Okay. All right. Almost done here. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a few little details real quick. Like that, just the more I see, the more I wanna you know, put on there because that's what kind of makes it unique. You could just draw a circle and say it's BB-8, but you kind of have to put a few of the details in, you know? It's the little things uh, that, that give it the, the detail, that give it the, the magic, you know? All right, so yeah, I think that's great. I say we take care of the rest with color, so that is BB-8. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.